Hello and welcome to this video on estimating angles and types of angles. Now an angle is the amount of turn and by turn I just mean to what extent you're spinning around about a point. So if we have two lines like this we're interested in the angle around that point. The amount of turn such that you're initially facing this way and then you turn to face this way and we'd usually draw it like this the angle. Now we need some kind of unit for an angle, just like we have units for length, could be centimetres, kilometres, and we have something called degrees. Now believe it or not, degrees isn't the only unit for angles, but it's the only one you will see unless you do A level. And we write it like this, so this angle for example might be 60 degrees. Now how would you actually estimate what this angle is? How do I know that this angle was roughly 6 degrees? If you measure the angles around a point, then a full spin, imagine you're standing here facing this way and you did a full turn, we say that is 360 degrees. So a full turn is 360 degrees. And that means if we were standing here and we did a half turn, so span around half the way, that would be 180 degrees because that's half of 360. And if we just did a quarter of a spin, so from here to here, that would be 90 degrees because 90 is a quarter of 360. And we'd often indicate that with a little square here. And that we call a right angle, which we'll see in a second. Now, how could we use this and this to estimate some angles? So let's say I had an angle of this. Well, if I was to draw a dotted line here, can you see that the turn from here to here would be 90 degrees? It's a quarter of a spin, 90 degrees. Therefore, this angle here is going to be a bit less than 90 degrees. So we might estimate that this is, say, 80 degrees. What about if we had an angle like this? Well, again, we might consider, well, what if this was a straight line? This is slightly close to being a straight line. We know that's half a turn, and that angle there would be 180 degrees. But we also know that this angle is more than 90 degrees, because that would be 90. So maybe if I drew a line like this, the 90 degree angle, we can see that that's somewhere between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, but I would say it's over halfway between 90 and 180. So we could say that might be an angle of roughly 140 degrees. And what about finally if we had an angle like this? So it's a very big angle. Well, we know that that angle there, that kind of half turn, is 180 degrees. We also know if I extended this, we know that that spin there is three quarters of a full spin. And three quarters, 360 degrees is 270 degrees. But we also know that a full spin is 360 degrees. So this is somewhere between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. So I would estimate this angle is about 300 degrees. Now we have special names for different types of angles. If the angle, like this one, is less than 90 degrees, we call that acute. If the angle is 90 degrees, then we already saw that is called a right angle. Then if we have an angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, like this one, for example, that's known as an obtuse angle. And finally, if we have an angle of more than 180 degrees, like this one, for example, then that's known as a reflex angle. And that's all the four different types of angles that we have.